And Sacramento police are investigating a series of burglaries targeting local cannabis distributors. Now, the thieves are breaking into warehouses in the early morning hours and taking off with up to $100,000 worth of marijuana. CBS 13's Elizabeth Kling is getting answers tonight on the impact to local businesses. This bent and busted iron fence, just some of the damage left behind by a crew of cannabis crooks. They cut gates, they drove vehicles through walls, they, um, they, they pulled out all the stops to get in. Sacramento police say there have been more than 50 marijuana business break-ins since August, including at least six in the last week. We unfortunately have seen an enormous increase in cannabis-related burglaries. Surveillance video from the most recent crime shows a crew of at least seven people in two cars breaking into a warehouse run by Sovereign, a delivery only dispensary. They made it out before the cops did show up um, and they hit somebody else seven minutes down the road. Brandy Moulton's warehouse has been targeted twice in the last two weeks. For smaller, locally owned, you know, mom and pop style businesses like myself, like a financial hit like this can literally put you out of business. Most warehouses are not open to the public and have large cannabis growing operations inside. But owners say the thieves often leave the plants and only take cash and marijuana that's already been harvested for distribution. The city requires all cannabis production facilities to have cameras, alarms, and other security in place, but police are urging owners to take more measures to protect their pot. The way that these series, if you will, go away is if uh, the criminals make entry and they don't get anything. That will send a message to them that this geographic area isn't good for them to attempt these crimes in. Brandy's employees are now taking shifts to monitor security video feeds in real time. I don't know if I can take one more hit, and I do unfortunately suspect that they will be back. Well, business owners say they also have problems getting insurance for these types of crimes because the growing and the sale of marijuana is still illegal on the federal level.